everyone, my name is Marley and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about the Stealth Face Paradigm, which is a structured stressful event within which researchers have investigated the influence of maternal psychological and behavioral characteristics on infant behavior. Put simply, the mother is told to be completely blank-faced and stop responding to her infant. And what the researchers do, they observe the infant's psychological state and the behavior in response to the mother's blank face. What was found after some moments of the mother ignoring the infant, the infant begins to show distress. Now, after the mother returns to interact with the infant again, the infant appears to be relieved and quite happy. Now, why is this so interesting that I had to make a video about it? <laughs> well, well, well. What the first thing that this still face paradigm suggests is that our need for social reaction begins at the very first months of life. I'm interested in what happens when these interactions are not present over long periods of time and the consequences that this has on cognitive development. So this research depicted something known as serve and return interactions, which are the appropriate response given to an action. For example, a baby cries, this is the action, and the caregiver or the adult comes to the baby and tries to soothe the baby crying. This is the appropriate response, and this is natural to humans to do. So as you observed, after two minutes of zero interaction, the baby in the video began experiencing stress by crying, physical agitation, collapse, and attempting to self-comfort. Towards the end, she becomes withdrawn and hopeless for the mother to interact with her again. Now, this short experiment will not have long impacts on the baby. But the question that you may have is, in what circumstances will there be long-lasting effects? So what we don't see in this video is when this non-responsiveness lasts for a very, very long time, as in days, weeks, months, and even years. So what happens? This baby learns that there will be no reaction to their action. What you could actually call this is neglect. You probably already know what neglect is, but I'll just define it for you. It's the improper care of an infant or child in terms of its physical, developmental, and or emotional needs. Let's look at the well-studied case where there have been children who have been neglected and the detrimental, long-lasting impact that has happened to them. Some researchers from several universities, Charles Nelson, Nathan Fox, and Charles Zena, visited Bucharest, Romania to investigate the conditions of many orphanages. On estimate in Romania, there are about 170,000 children and infants and teens living in these orphanages. The conditions of these orphanages are terrible to say the least. These babies and children are left in their cribs to cry, sitting in their own urine and feces, and completely lacking social interaction. These researchers studied the long-term impacts of neglect on these infants living in these orphanages. Some of these impacts were emotional issues like anxiety and depression, ADHD, symptoms of autism such as poor communication skills, lack of social skills, and they also saw a failure to thrive in a huge amount of these uh, children living in these institutions and this affects your ability to grow. So a lot of these children, uh, until their teen years, ended up looking like they were still infants or young children. So this does happen in some countries, especially in large institutions that have poor training, maybe lack of empathetic staff, um, and lack of resources, such as shown in these Romanian orphanages. You can also find examples of this type of neglect in some extreme cases, such as the one about Jeannie, who was a child that was locked in a room when she was only 20 months old, and she was completely deprived of social interaction. 
Basically, she was given the bare minimum to just simply survive. Jeannie was found when she was uh, just over 13 years old and doctors have examined her mental age to be only about 13 months old. She could not chew food, she had severe sensory processing issues, fine motor skills of a two-year-old, and a very weak ability to move around. Jeannie was also highly antisocial and did not allow others to touch her. If you isolate songbirds from other songbirds, they never learn to sing. If you isolate, and people used to do experiments like this before there was more protection for animals. If you, you know, put a, a, a kitten in the dark and keep them in the dark, even though their eyes are fine, they never learn to see. So my assumption, and this is, or my hypothesis is that she never got the stimulation that she needed for her brain to develop at those important periods. Circumstances like the things that I just mentioned are very severe and it's important not to kind of worry yourself about neglecting your child as, yeah, as I said, these circumstances are extremely severe and sometimes you just might feel overwhelmed as a parent and you can't be fully present with your infant in that moment, but don't worry because that, that is not going to have long-lasting impacts like these cases that I just talked about. However, in severely depressed adults, even if they don't intend to, sometimes there can be some neglect that goes on. And my advice as a new parent is to take breaks, accept helps from others, keep yourself healthy and kind of know the signs of if you're becoming depressed or you're unable to take care of your child before it kind of gets too severe. And because you can't take care of someone else if you're not taking care of yourself. So if you are feeling like your mental health is coming to a, a weird place and it's harder to take care of your baby, then definitely go and seek help, get professional help. It's very, very important for both you and your child. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found this interesting. And if you have any other uh, studies that you want me to go over or yeah, topics or studies you want me to reproduce, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video next weekend. Bye guys.